two weeks since the beginning of this impasse. We all want the protests to end and these Canadians to feel like they've been heard and respected. But now, critical infrastructure is being restricted. Why? Because of this Prime Minister's failure. I've asked the Prime Minister to meet with me and the other opposition leaders in good faith to try to find a way forward from this impasse. He didn't answer yesterday. He hasn't answered to date. I'm going to ask him again. Will he meet with us? Right, Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, the Conservative Party of Canada has spent the last two weeks endorsing and enabling these blockades across the country. The leader of the Conservative Party and her team have been their biggest champions, even promoting their fundraising. The consequences of these actions are having dire impacts. They're impacting trade, they're hurting jobs, they're threatening our economy, and they're obstructing our communities. I am focused on ending it. I hope the Leader of the Opposition will maintain her current position and continue to call for an end to these blockades. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition continues to blame others for things that he's responsible for. Today he actually has a chance to do something for Canadians. We have a motion before this House that would tell the government to let Canadians know when they are going to end these restrictions. Two years into this pandemic, and given the current circumstances, it's not an unreasonable request. Canadians deserve a Prime Minister who's willing to follow science and lift the restrictions. Even his own Liberal MPs agree with us. So a simple question for the Prime Minister. Will he and his fellow Liberal members of Parliament support our motion that is on the floor today? Right Honourable Prime Minister. Everyone in this country is sick and tired of lockdowns and, quite frankly, of COVID-19. But Canadians also know that the way through this pandemic is by listening to science, is by following uh, public health advice, and indeed by getting vaccinated. That is what we have been focused on from the very beginning, and that's why we're continuing uh, to encourage Canadians to please get vaccinated. About 61,000 Canadians got their first dose just last week. We need more people to continue to step up, get vaccinated, get their kids vaccinated, get the booster shot. That's how we stay safe. That's how we support our frontline health workers. The Leader of the Opposition. Prime Minister, because he's talking about vaccinations, we all support vaccines. And 90%, as he has said, 90% of Canadians have been vaccinated. Yep. Is he suggesting that unless 100% of Canadians are vaccinated, he's not even going to consider opening up and lifting restrictions? Yeah. Is that what he's tell, trying to tell us? 90% is good for us, and I would say other countries in the world who have less vaccine uptake. Is he saying he's not going to do anything until 100% of Canadians are vaccinated? Vaccinated? Really? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Speaker, not only are Canadians tired of this pandemic, of, uh, of the challenges we're facing, but they're also, of course, tired of the restrictions, tired of the rules, tired of the lockdowns. That is understandable. But you know what helps lift restrictions? You know what helps move beyond lockdowns? Vaccinations. When Canadians get vaccinated, including with our vaccine mandates that ensure the federal public service and anyone getting on planes or trains uh, are vaccinated, that has helped move forward, keep Canadians safe, and most importantly, to keep our frontline health workers, who've been heroes during this pandemic, from being overwhelmed.